This week, Garen and Ellie continue on their van conversion, Shay completes Ellie's wedding dress transformation, and we make plans for an outdoor bathtub. Alrighty. What we're doing is pallet wood on the side because that's our thing, you know. We have a lot of metal that we have to cut out. Mainly back where our bed is going to be. Yeah, and then we have to widen it as much as we can too to fit that bed in there. It's gonna end up being about six foot three at the farthest point of the bed, and it's gonna be about six foot at the smallest part of the bed. A Garen side and Nelly side. Yeah, exactly. Get the grinder. Yeah, I think that's the first step. Cut some metal out. Woo! Nice. Okay, Zoe, this is gonna be really loud. Time to move into the quiet. Wee! These sheds are cool right now. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna play in here for a little bit, okay? And we'll go make some noise. <laughs> See if it fits. Sure. Hope I didn't eat too much ice cream. <laughs> I like it. It's so light and airy. <laughs> I'm so glad that you were able to do stuff with it. Oh, it's so cool. I love it so much. Cecilia? Not too much ice cream then. Just the right amount of ice cream. Just the right amount. <laughs> we are gonna try and dye it. It still kind of looks like a wedding dress. So we're gonna try and use this color. I don't know if it's gonna be this bright. What do you think? Should we do the whole dress or just the bottom half? I would do the whole dress. I think so. I don't think the tool will die, but this? the stuff under it will. Yeah, so I was thinking it'd be kind of cool if it didn't actually. I took out several layers from underneath it as well. How many did you take? I'm curious. Yeah, I have a, a pile at my house that's just like this big of just tool and fabric. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. <laughs> it's definitely way lighter. Yes, awesome, good. Last week, we took a trip up to see the bottle house to get some bottle ideas. Then we went back to grandma's house and she showed us what she does with her bottles. I got this really cool bottle. It's so tiny and it's got stuff on it. I'm hoping to be able to keep this on there when I melt it, we'll see. But before I put it in there, it's gonna roll around. I gotta cut a little pieces to hold it. Now what, what is this? This stuff can go in the kiln and not melt. <laughs> Here's my kiln right here. Yeah, open it up. Okay, so Ooh, this is fancy, closer. Mom. Yeah. What I'll do is I'll stick it in here. I can't have it roll. Oh, right. So that's what this is for, to hold it in place. This is the part I want to show. What I think will happen is that little White House <laughs> will come through when it's melted down. It's Good. not quite even. Just, or let me just... She's like you, Bray. Oh, yeah. You're like her, I guess. Yeah. I don't have it either. Yeah, there you go. It's all set. It's in the middle. Now we'll gently put this down to make sure that it doesn't move at all. Then we'll plug it in. Okay, so we're gonna start it. Take about four hours. Oh, that's five all? Five hours. Okay. But then we have to wait that many hours at least before it cools down. So it'll be so in there for like eight hours maybe? Keep, and you so keep it closed, you don't open oh, it up absolutely. after. Absolutely, you don't open The whole time. If you wanna look at it, it come with a little peak hole that you can put in here and you can look at it when it gets red hot. But it's hard on your eyes, so I, I actually never use it. You mean like heat? Yeah. But it'll get up to about 1,500 degrees. Wow. Oh, so it's pretty hot. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, mm -hmm. it's very right exciting. Here. Okay, good. We'll, we'll come back and look at it. Okay. Looks a little better, huh? Yeah, it's a pain. In order to make the pallets kind of smooth with the curved edges of the van, I think we're gonna cut some two by fours into kind of a rib that uses the outside of the van curve and then has the new curve of our pallet wood. That's from the old stuff, right? Yeah, this is from the old stuff, and that, that curve is perfect for the side of the van. if we're getting anywhere near where we need to be. That fits in there really nicely. What we thought of doing 
was we bought some of these long steel bolts and what I'm gonna do is gonna tack weld them the outside of the van here because we're gonna repaint the outside anyway so if we melt the paint off that's fine. The trick is, we don't want to bow the outside of the van in any noticeably weird way. A couple foam pieces cut out, they're kind of rough. We're going to seal still around them with some expanding foam. We're going to need something to hold it in place. All right, so we just got our little spray foam here. Okay. All right, we set about washing the dress. Still got cake on it. <laughs> just want you to know. I got Garen first. And then I thought he wasn't even gonna get me back and I was gonna look like a jerk. And then he just like smeared it in my ear. Oh. I was like, yeah, no biggie. It's gonna be so easy, so easy. I take one look at it, I'm like, well, you know. Adventure, right? <laughs> I was trying to be helpful and then I was given Azalea and all hope of being helpful went out the window. <laughs> oh, but she's so happy. Snuggle with Aunt Shay. We had a little spill accident. Yes. Uh, I don't, it wasn't me from an angle that only could have been one person. You were staged. I was. So since I'm green, I volunteer tribute to stir the dress. <laughs> yeah. And now my hands are blue, so. Yeah. But thank you so much. Yes. Seriously, I yes. love it so much. I actually haven't seen the final product yet because it's still in the dye. It's in the bucket of, yeah. It's still stewing. <laughs> Yeah. You just used all of our soap. Now you have to buy some other. <laughs> wow. Just kidding. Perfect. Spoon. <laughs> Can you believe they let me hold their baby? <laughs> okay, I got something heavy and clean. <laughs> You're the smurf. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, Ooh, wait, I just need to. Excuse me while I... Has anyone ever told you you are very dramatic? Hardcore? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I did it. I mean, we did it. <laughs> I guess I'll be singing a rude daddy. Alright, you guys go ahead and do your work. I'm gonna go. Bye! Shocker. Back it in. But we have a dream of putting in a bath next to our outdoor shower that's behind me. So we are going to kind of rework this area to incorporate a bath. We had one donated to us. It's like a jacuzzi bathtub. We get that installed here and we're going to bag it. I don't know. We're going to let the organic aspect organic of these materials take us. Organic creativity of new ideas, alternative structure, yeah. design. Should we go look at the tub? Yeah. This here is the tub that we're going to be working with see it in there a little bit. It's brand new here. It's made to be inside, so dad is inside learning how to set one of these properly. Boys, we have a pump. Yay! Also, I found this little thing. I'm hoping it has instructions in it. Looks like it comes with everything we need, too, maybe. Oh, oh, that would be... oh well. We have this massive stack of pallets that we've been collecting for a while now, so I'm going to start cutting them all up. All righty. This is all insulated down back behind with just the spray foam. Now we're just throwing a quick coat of black paint on it before we put the slats up because the slats are slats and you can kind of see through some of the cracks sometimes and we don't want silver or white or something radiant. Something else coming through. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Nice. Look at how nice these pallet boards are. Those are some good pallet boards. Those are nice. Someone starts sanding them and then Garen. Sounds like a plan. Oh, 
really excited to get this action. Yeah, me too. We decided to treat ourselves with a new tool for this project. It's so much fun. We've done so much pallet work, all with, with the skill saw, which works great as an all-around tool, but for nice square cuts, easy. Oh yeah, baby. DeWalt, if you're watching this, we need a sponsorship. Just give it a little subtle hint. Yeah, yeah, a subtle hint. Oh, oh yeah. Man. Oh, man, that is so cool. All scratch free. That's not gonna last long. Let's break it in. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. That is nice. So smooth. It's like butter, okay? Let's go put this baby up. Look at the difference between the sanded side and the not sanded side. That's it's incredible difference. Yeah. Oh, good. It's the right length. You okay, Azalea? You gonna roll over? You gotta fix your arm, kiddo. You roll over? Oh yeah. Oh, get your, your arm stuck. There you go. Come on, go the rest of the way. Am I standing on the wrong side? I see you. Roll over. Yay! Good job, kiddo. Good job. She loves rolling over. So cute. <laughs> See what it's gonna look like. Oh yeah, okay. There we go. Oh, it melted. Yeah, it and looks I'll, great. Yeah. And I'll clean that up. Oh wow. Oh, that looks so cool. Yeah, it came through. See, that was on the back. Oh, and now it comes through on the front. Right on. How cool is that, Grandma? <laughs> Very cool. And then I'll decorate it. Oh, the little in case she wants to hang it. Yeah. Something to hang up. Slip out too easy. I put four rubber tips on it so she can hang, hang it, it up. And then there's the hook. The reason I'm doing this so it won't mark up the wall. Like, okay, like this. It's got the rubber tips on it. Yeah, that's cute. We do have a plan. We figure if we get the tub in here, figure out where that's sitting, then however we choose to have our bag shaped, that'll just kind of fall into place around the tub. We love taking outdoor showers in the summertime. We'd love to do baths as well, especially since we have access to such a wonderful one here. We love to change our minds a lot, so if you have any ideas for us, you just let us know. We're open and we're early enough in the project that we're not too committed to anything. Even when we're committed, we change our minds. And I'll we'll have a couple jables here, two jables here, two here, and maybe one or two back there. What's gonna here. happen now is our shower is conical spaced on this side. So what we want to do is have another semi-conical for the bathtub. And the earth bags around the tub and meet back up to this pole here. And then you'll walk in this way and boom, the circle will be here. Um, what kind of uh, material are you going to have for the frame? So it won't deteriorate and bugs won't eat it. It's kind of waterproof too, which is nice. We'll go down in and it will drain out to a basin out there to water some of the plants. Probably the best part of this setup as it sits right now is a chip has a place in the shade because he's a little pooped he's been chasing goats rounding them up you've been rounding up goats chip we're rounding them up and flies <laughs> here let me fix that for you it's kind of embarrassing i feel It's very time consuming cutting each one of these pallet boards individually with the right curves of the van and the right lengths. Some of them are pretty complicated, but when it starts stacking up and coming together, it really looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's super fun to watch it come together and turn into something pretty when it's kind of a mess right now. <laughs> We got the ribbing in and the insulation's in, nice and glued, and then it's all spray foamed in around it. So now more black paint so that we don't have the cracks show up. Oh yeah, this glorious paint, I've forgotten about it. 
Even though I like, not want to go at all. So we got started right here and then realized that we needed to figure out our plan for trimming the window so that we know where to go with the pallet board. So we're going to jump over to figuring that out real fast. I think we're going to try whipping some two by fours. Okay, so this one's quarter inch, three eighths and half. Let's just try and go suck it to the curve of the wall. Hi there, kid. Are you playing in your wet blanket? Okay, so I think this is the most curved spot. That looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. Is it gonna be wide enough to cover the window too? We might have to do a two and a half inch trim around the whole window instead of a two inch. We have the trim figured out, so we're gonna move into getting the rest of the siding on. Cool, all right. These trim, I think these came out pretty good. Just a ripped two by four into this because it's what we had. But the nice thing is, is that these are very flexible. I don't think they're gonna break, but we'll kind of see here. We'll see if this one cracks. This one you won't actually be able to see either, will ya? Yeah, that's gonna be in the bed, right? Yeah, so just give it a start on. No. So far, so good. I don't think I'm gonna pull down anymore. I think I'm gonna let that gap fly. That looks good, babe. Ooh, that looks nice, babe. Nice. So I think I'm just gonna use finish nails on this too. What do you think, so? It's coming together, huh? A lot of rough edges on it when it's just the pallet wood and you put that trim on it really just cleans it up, yeah. Nice. Coming together really good. We got a lot of the trim done, a lot of the hard cuts already made. We may end up changing the trim just a little bit to a different material or something. Just the, the front trim that we ripped. So we'll kind of have to see on that. It's coming together, it's looking so good. Yeah. I'm really excited too. <laughs> Are we just dumping it in here? Sure. We're either going to be very happy or not happy at all. Oh, and it's the brand. <laughs> oh, no wonder. Did you dye our brick? All the flowers are gonna stay blue. Yeah, pretty blue. That could look pretty cool, just like that. This is gonna look really good. Wow, it looks so good. Oh, I love how the embroidery got so dark. Mission accomplished. <laughs> yeah. Here comes the psych. Summer. <laughs> it's pretty wet. <laughs> go, go put it on. No, I'm just kidding. Perfect. Sure. Now I can eat pizza in it. <laughs> Hit me up. I need a job. I know it's like every color I wear. <laughs> oh! <laughs> in hindsight, that was a bad idea. Oh, it's cool to see like the, the layers from underneath. My handiwork is best observed from a distance. <laughs> Just got the last hook in. So good, Shay. Uh -huh. The ribbon was a nice touch. Well, that wraps up this week. The t-shirt design of the week is our Route 66 design. This is kind of a fun little patriotic-ish, you know, red, white, and blue one. Great for the 4th of July. And this features one of our iconic American highways that we have here in the US. So if you'd like to get this on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, or any other type of uh, merchandise that we have over in our shop, the link will be down in the description. We wanna wish a very warm, happy Father's Day to all those fathers. If you are a father or to your father, a very happy Father's Day. Have a wonderful, wonderful, weekend with those that you love. Thank you so much for being a part of our family and we'll catch you Monday for another My Little Podcast. Bye! Thank you! Yep. <laughs> it's like we murdered a thousand smurfs. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that kind of thing, Shay. <laughs> I'm sorry. She can start singing that song. I'm blue. Daddy dee daddy da. Daddy dee daddy da. <laughs>
Esther while she was helping me. She's like, you should go try it on. I was like, this thing barely fits on my mannequin. This thing's so tiny. Esther, this is not gonna fit me. And she's like, come on, just go try it on so we can see what it looks like. Zipper goes, ee, 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 ee. I'm like, you made me do this. <laughs> family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Goose, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, from... <laughs>